until they got into Bitcoin, they didn't even know what money was. They held money, they spent money, they made money, but they didn't know what it was. Absolutely. I think Bitcoin causes you to ask one of the most important and fundamental questions about how this system works. And that is, why is everything around you getting more expensive when technology is supposed to drive prices down and productivity is supposed to drive prices down? Why are houses becoming more and more unaffordable, especially for younger generations? Why are stocks so expensive when the earnings don't match the valuations? Um, you know, these are questions that I think that um, people just, they don't take the time to stop and unpack because they're so busy trying to afford their lives. And one thing that I noticed as a reporter, as I would go into communities around the country is it didn't, it wasn't about politics, even though we today politicize everything and we're so polarized and we want someone to blame. And then we also want a savior who could come in and fix our problems at the core were the same issues. No matter who I talked to, it was a sense of feeling frustrated and left behind. It was a sense that you can't catch up. It's, it's the wheel is spinning faster and you're trying to keep pace, but everything around you is getting more expensive. You can't afford an education for your kids. Your house is, um, you know, more and more expensive but wait, okay, great. So if you sell it, you're, you're, you're making a profit, but then you have to go buy another house. That's, that's appreciated so much that it's unaffordable. Um, and so it's just, it just felt like life is getting harder and harder when in this country, it should be getting easier and easier. We're this superpower. We're the global reserve currency. We stand for the American dream. Um, and so I was trying to figure out where those values were sort of lost. And Bitcoin caused me to really put a spotlight on the problem and, and really start to understand it. And the more that I did, the best thing about it, honestly, Gary, is it made me feel hopeful again. I was when I was working as a reporter and seeing all these issues play out on a micro level in all these communities, I felt like I, I was looking into the future thinking, you know, it's not going to get better. It just keeps getting worse and things keep getting more expensive. And when I learned about Bitcoin and then appreciated truly how bulletproof the network is, the protocol on a fundamental technical level, I started to see the world as one of hope, as one of a potential abundance as one that we can create the future we really want to see, not just for us, but for future generations. And that's what drives me now. Like that's, that's the, the life force that I feel when I'm um, trying to educate people, because I really do see this as one of the only and most important solutions to some of the biggest problems that we have today. Yeah, I love coming to Bitblock Boom because it's like it's like Mecca for Bitcoiners. Like everybody here is like part of the hardcore like inner sanctum. Um, you just have these conversations with everybody where like you can see it in their eyes that they believe the same things that you believe. You come to Bitblock Boom once, you're gonna come every year.